Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Madrid Ball. I hope you all are safe and sound. Real Madrid came up with another victory to cap off the season on a positive note, but unfortunately, we didn't get what we were looking for. The league title was enjoyed by our city rivals, and it was tough to see the league slipping away in the second half yesterday. The way things were going in the first half, it was looking like both Atletico and Real Madrid were not willing to win the league. Just imagine how anticlimactic it would have been had both the teams failed to turn things around in the second half. But Real Madrid managed to do that as we have seen throughout the course of the season, but in the end it just wasn't enough. We all were very excited when we had received the information that Vite lead had put Atletico in a position to lose, but soon Real Madrid also conceded, and you have to wonder what could have happened had Real Madrid not conceded at that point. And we scored there, and had Atletico gone in into halftime knowing that Real Madrid were in pole position to win, maybe that would have put some extra pressure on Atletico. They surely must have found little comfort in the fact that we also were losing at halftime, but Simeone calmed down the Atletico players. They came out with a positive outlook. Angel Correa and Luis Suarez came up with the goals to fire Atletico to the league title, but from Real Madrid's perspective, what matters the most is that we kept fighting right till the final whistle. With the amount of injuries we had this season, the excuses were ready on the plate for Zidane and the players, but they refrained from making any excuses, and as I mentioned yesterday, Real Madrid went down as champions. We went down with elegance and royalty, and in the end, that is what you want. We want to be competitive, we want to stay in the mix of things, be amongst the best fighting neck and neck, and that is what we got from the side yesterday. Those who have followed Real Madrid for a long time, they know that there have been times in the past years when Real Madrid have given up on the league title even at the mid-season point. You talk about the 17-18 season or the following 18-19 season, we ended the season with mere 67 points, and to say the truth, the way the season was going on in the early stages stages with all the problems, with the poor results we were getting against weak teams. We didn't think that we'd come so far, we didn't feel that we'd go far in the Champions League as well, but we managed to do that. In a sense you can say that Real Madrid overachieved but we came close to a double and what impressed me the most was the show of character from Zidane, from the players, from the team as a collective and this character was the reason why Real Madrid were able to sustain all the poor spells. They were able to make comebacks after poor results and we saw that so many times throughout the course of the season there were many matches where we fell behind, it looked like we were staring at defeat but somehow we used to get a late equaliser or a late winner and that's the fighting spirit that we expect from the team. That's the bare minimum that we want and that's the bare minimum we as fans demand. We put in our precious times watching the players in a way we also make an investment of our time and to see the players given their all is something that we expect from the team. Now of course you cannot win titles every year, you cannot win the La Liga or the Champions League consecutively, and yes we have done that in the past, but those were exceptional years. There will be a few bad years and there is no other option but to accept it, but what we should be doing right now is a proper assessment. The board would be looking at the team and we the fans do know some of the issues, but the club they have experts analysing every minute details. They are going to do an analysis on every player, they are going to analyse their contribution, their psychology in the face of adversity. These analysts would see how each player performed when the time came to mount a response. And that is why I think this is a summer of huge magnitude. We obviously need an injection of youth in the side, but for this to happen, we also need the young players to step up the game. They have to show their hunger, they have to show the club that they are growing as a player, and they have the potential to be the future of the club. Real Madrid currently is going through a very weird phase where there are players who are nearing the end of the cycle, but at the moment we don't have the new crop to match the quality of the old. So the youngsters have to put in more effort and definitely just take a few smart dealings in the transfer market to take care of that problem, but we'll have to see if Real Madrid have the financial muscle to kickstart the new cycle without any jerks. In the two or three years down the lane, we need to make some very smart decisions. We have not been particularly impressive with the transfer dealings in the past three years. We have a number of players who haven't really lived up to the expectations, and yes, these things happen with every club. Every club will have a few players for whom the move doesn't work out, but it's about time that Real Madrid make a few right moves and strengthen than this team overall. The attack is the biggest issue of course, but the lack of depth in the side
side, that is also a major concern, and if we want to be a side that dominates Europe, that is the key ingredient to success. There should be quality in the starting 11, at the same time there should be quality on the bench. You take yesterday's game for example, we are still heavily reliant on the veterans to win games, Luka Modric and Karim Benzema made the difference yesterday, so it's very important that a team as huge as Real Madrid not be reliant on just a few individual to win games. So going forward, it would be an interesting summer, we are expecting some departures as well, if that happens, we will be giving them a proper farewell on the channel, and we also would be analysing what the new additions in the side will bring to the overall dynamic of the team. We are still waiting for the decision of Zinedine Zidane, in the post-match interview, he said that he would discuss with the club about his decision, and he'll soon let us know about that. So we would be eagerly awaiting his decision, but if we talk about our city rivals Atletico Madrid, the lead that Atletico had formed during the early days of the season turned out to be a safety net for them, and I think they deserve to win the title. They have taken advantage of the fact that Real Madrid and Barcelona could never hit top gear, and they were ready to pounce on the opportunity. This season, we have also seen Atletico exhibiting different styles of football. You talk about the first half of the season, Atletico played like a dominant force. They used to take control of games, they used to dominate the opposition, and to the surprise of many, there was a phase where Atletico were playing free-flowing, expansive football, and things were looking very rosy at that point. Then came a phase where Atletico were not being able to churn out the results. There were times when they went back to the pragmatic style of play that they are usually known for, but in the end, they hung on. They also needed a show of character in the last two matches. The game against Osasuna and Vital lead so easily could have gone wrong for them, but they held on to the nerves, they kept calm, and obviously Luis Suarez, he turned out to be a huge difference maker. Him, along with the likes of Lorente, Savage, Koke, these players were heavily involved, and for what they have done, they deserve the title, and at this point, we have to acknowledge that the better team won, and we do have our grievances with the refereeing, but we, importantly, have to learn from the mistakes of this season, and come back stronger next year. There are some fundamental flaws in our side, and we have to take care of them, as soon as possible. Lastly, I would also like to thank all of you for being a part of this channel over the course of the year. The journey with you guys was absolutely fantastic. We complained together, we praised our team together, we were the critics, we were the supporters of our favourite team, and I have thoroughly enjoyed the journey with you all. You can see the subscriber count, we together have grown over the past one year, our community has grown stronger, and this is the message that we have received from YouTube. They have gone bananas over the growth of our channel, and I personally am really thankful. You all came forward to share your views on a number of topics and I have really appreciated your active involvement in the comment section. We spoke about transfers, we spoke about tactics, we spoke about how the team could do better and I have absolutely enjoyed knowing your views, interacting with you in the comments and from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate this. I may be the one speaking here but you guys, you people are the soul of this channel. You are the ones who motivate me to keep making the videos and I've said this before and I'll say it again, the channel is nothing without you guys. The people who have joined this channel this past season, you all are the founding members, and I have planned something special for you, which you would be finding out very soon. So we have come to the end of the season, but we will be doing more postseason analysis, we'll be doing a series in which we'll discuss how each and every player performed, we'll discuss the role they played, the impact they had, there would be discussions on transfer rumours, we'll cover the interviews, and we'll also be having some of the members of the community coming forward in the videos to discuss their views on the club. So as of now, I'm not done with you all, I still have a lot in store for you, and of course, we'll also cover some matches from the Euros and the Copa America. It's going to be a happening summer, and I'll try my best to keep you all entertained. So that is all I have here, but hold on ladies and gentlemen, we have missed our customary ritual, and today we end the video with a very special shout out for Mr. Jonathan and Mr. Marvinho. The two of them were spot on with their scoreline predictions, and I congratulate you for getting the last prediction of the season correct. And that concludes this video, I'll see you soon with many more videos, but till then, take care, glory to Madrid, and as always, a la Madrid!